thread checkers are super handy, but they're typically made for larger nuts and bolts. I did some quick searching and I couldn't find one for smaller nuts and bolts, so I decided I wanted to make my own. I decided I want to make the thread checker out of aluminum, but I also want to make it pretty. I'm going to take this opportunity to try to anodize the aluminum. I have three pieces of aluminum that I'm going to work with in case I screw up. Now I've never done anodizing before, but I read a bunch of stuff on the internet and I think I got everything I need. Distilled water, battery acid, power supply, rubber gloves for handling acid, bucket for anodizing bath, sprayers or the distilled water, baking soda to neutralize acid, voltmeter, scotch bright pad, orange clothing dye, meat thermometer, roll of lead, bucket for heating up dye, degreaser, titanium wire, alligator clips, banana, rubber gloves, I'm supposed to heat up the dye to 140 degrees. I'm going with tangerine. The anodizing process is almost done. I got my water heated to 140 degrees. I'm going to combine the hot water with the dye, and then I'm going to rinse off the piece of aluminum with distilled water before I put it in the dye. I'm also going to rinse it in baking soda a little bit to neutralize that acid. went pretty well now it's time to machine this thing and like I said this is going to be for smaller nuts and bolts the bigger ones are usually used for cars I'm not a car guy I don't even know where the blinker fluid goes I'm gonna have 10 standard nuts and bolts and five metric nuts and bolts Project complete. I learned how to anodize and machine tiny holes. So a couple features on this thread checker. You see the scales on the side here. You can hold a, a screw up to the edge and check the, the length of the screw. You also put a screw in the hole to match up the size. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in one of these. Thanks for watching.